Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x square minus y square equals to 65 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here our uh, x and y should must be an integer. Uh, so it means that we solve this problem for integer values of x and y. Uh, so I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So first we apply here the famous uh, algebraic formula in the left hand side we know that x square minus y square equals to x minus y times of uh, x plus y and it is equals to 65. And now in the next step uh, if we make the relation between these two factors uh, here we uh, we just write the general, general relation of uh, these two factors are here our x minus y is always less than x plus y uh, so uh, now you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor uh, and now here we need to uh, make uh, the we make the factors of uh, 65 which means that we find uh, any two numbers whose product is 65 so we have uh, some possibilities in which we get the product of two integers is 65 so this is um, 1 multiplied by 65 equals to 65 this is the first possibility and 65 multiplied by 1 is also 65 and 13 times of 5 equals to 65 and 5 times of 13 is equals to 65 so uh, now in the next step uh, we here we choose the those factors or those pairs which satisfy this condition uh, so you see here the one is always less than 65 so we choose this this pair and here you see that 65 is greater than 1 so we reject this pair and here 13 is greater than 5 we reject this pair and 5 is less than 13 so that we just choose this pair so here we have uh, two possibilities in, in these are satisfied this condition so that we take uh, x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 65 uh, so this is the our first case and now here in first case uh, we uh, com we compare these two factors on this equation and we get uh, uh, x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 65 this is the first uh, case and now here uh, for second case uh, here we compare over these two factors with these two pairs uh, and uh, we write it as x minus y equals to 5 and x plus y equals to 13 so here we have these two cases uh, so now we need to solve these two cases and we can just easily get the values of uh, x and y so <clears throat> first we need to focus in case number one so uh, from first case uh, we have uh, we uh, just add these two equations we call this is equation number one this is equation number two and this is equation number three this is our equation number four so because here first we solve case number one in case number one uh, we need to add equation number one and two for the values of x and y mm, so uh, here when you add these two equations it will be written as uh, x minus y equals to one x plus y equals to 65 so because we add these two equations so this is negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get here x plus x equals to 2x 65 plus 1 equals to 66 so here we get the value of x is equals to 33 when we divide uh, these two with the 66 we easily get the value of x equals to 33 uh, and now here uh, we put this value of x uh, on uh, any one of these equation and we easily get the value of y so uh, we put the value of uh, this uh, x equals to 33 in equation number uh, equation number one so uh, our equation number one is that x minus y equals to one uh, so we substitute it here x minus y equals to one 
uh, so we put this value of x and it is written as 33 minus y equals to 1 and here we move this minus y to the right hand side and we move this plus 1 in the left hand side and we obtain 33 minus 1 equals to y and this implies that the value of y is equals to 32. So here uh, this is the our uh, first uh, solution set because here you see that both the values of x and y are integers okay. Now uh, we need to move uh, toward the second case and in second case we again add equation number 3 and equation number 4. Uh, so here we add equation number 3 with equation number 4 and it will be written as x minus y equals to 5 and x plus y equals to 13. So because we add these two equations and we obtain this is cancelled out by this one and we have x plus x equals to 2x and 5 plus 13 equals to 18. And here we divide both of the sides by 2 and we obtain here x equals to 18 over 2 and we get the value of x is equals to 2 9s are 18 and we get our x equals to 9. So from second case we get the first value of x and now here uh, we put this value of x in any one of equation number 3 or equation number 4 uh, so that uh, equation number 4 is implies that first we uh, write equation number 4 here it is x plus y equals to 13 and when we put the value of x here this is the value of x we substitute it here it will becomes 9 plus y equals to 13 uh, and because here we solve this problem for the values of y uh, so for this we need to move this this 9 to the right hand side and we obtain our y is equals to 13 minus 9 uh, and we get here y is equals to 13 minus 9 is equals to 4 okay so this is the value of y and uh, you see here the value of this x is 9 the value of y is 4 so uh, from second case we clearly see that uh, both the values of x and y uh, should must be uh, belongs to an integer so it means that in second case both values of x and y satisfy this condition similarly in first case uh, again both of these values uh, are belongs to z or belongs to integer okay so, so the second uh, first case is uh, the values of x and y in first case is also satisfy this condition so so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos